Hey, Howard Jacobson here, contributing author to Whole, Rethinking the Science of Nutrition with Dr. T. Colin Campbell. Okay. You've heard the expression, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So one of Dr. Campbell's graduate students at Cornell, Dr. Liu, got real curious about the health effects of an apple. So here's what he did. In the lab, he took an apple and took about 100 grams of apple, that's roughly a half a cup, and measured the antioxidant vitamin C-like activity in that apple. And he got about 1,500 milligrams. Now your typical vitamin C supplement is 500 milligrams, so this was three times the amount that you would take in a normal supplement. So far, so good. But then, Dr. Liu and his team measured the actual amount of vitamin C in the apple. And you know how much they found? 5.7 milligrams. 1,500 milligrams of activity, 5.7 milligrams of vitamin C. That is a 263 times difference that could not be accounted for by any of our known scientific understandings, theories, explanations, or measurements. It's as if you have $100 in the bank, and yet you have an ATM card that allows you to take out $26,300 off of that $100. So the question is, what accounts for the rest of the antioxidant properties of the apple if it's not the vitamin C? 1,500 versus less than six. Now the problem here is really that we have names for certain nutrients in food that we think are important, and if we don't have a name for it, it's like it doesn't even exist, it doesn't even matter. Later on, Dr. Liu's team looked at a whole bunch of other antioxidant-like substances in apples, quercetin, names I don't even remember and can't pronounce, tons of stuff. But the point is, whatever they found, there's still more that we haven't found. It's as if I were to say to you, look, let me, t let me give you a music lesson. Uh, C major scale, the base of the C major scale is the, the bass note C, and then the third E, and the fifth G, and then the octave C. C, E, G, C. Forgive me if I don't have perfect pitch. And so let's say that's the important stuff. Everything else is, is, is unimportant. So let's sing a song using the important notes. How about uh, Do a Deer? Do, Deer, Female, Deer, A, uh, Dem, Me, Name, I Call, My, You get the point. Just because it's the important stuff doesn't mean that we can understand, appreciate, or get value out of the whole song without the rest. And in nutrition, things are so unimaginably complex that once we take individual nutrients out of context and say these are the important things, you don't need to eat the apple, just take three vitamin C pills. We're missing the really big picture. I'm Howard Jacobson, contributing author to Whole, Rethinking the Science of Nutrition. Thanks for watching.